Hey guys, Joe Wani coming in with a continuation of my campaign here in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 as the Electriate of Trier. I did do one or two turns uh, to kind of speed up a little bit here. Um, was finally able to get rid of that little lingering army over here that was from the Alamud uh, Pretenders. So finally they are gone. They did try and siege in onto uh, Granada here one last time and they actually stayed for the battle so that was fun I was able to just auto resolve that to get them to be completely gone from the game which was nice um, and also during the turns that I did actually Portugal over here did something that I don't think anybody else really thought was going to happen as you can see they're starting to have their uh, alliances in here start to deteriorate um, they actually signed a peace agreement with the Alamad Caliphate here and the Hafsid Sultanate. So that was um, was kind of a little surprising. Didn't really see that happening, but they are allied here. I believe they're yeah they're allied with their defensive allies with with uh, Castile and myself. Castile is really starting to not like them and mine is deteriorating as well so I'm pretty sure that the next place we're going to go is more than likely going to be here against um, the Kingdom of Portugal hopefully the Kingdom of Castile will not join them um, as I said they are actually no they're improving towards them but they are deteriorating towards them I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they will end up joining them. We'll have to see what happens. Um, so, I do have this army way up here in the north who has pretty much done nothing. And with the, you know, how everybody is, uh, you know, uh, as far as like the relations and everything is with everybody up here, everything is pretty much good. So I don't really see a purpose in keeping this army up here, so I'm going to start moving them down south to come over here to start. Uh, there will be another army that will be able to come in onto the shores down over here and maybe start pushing down into the Kingdom of Portugal. I do have a couple of armies over here. I'm going to leave this army here, though, to defend, and this army here as well is going to defend... I don't think, let's see, Barcelona, what is the garrison look like here? Yeah, pretty garbage uh, garrison. Actually, this building hopefully will be switched. It'll be done in one turn, so that will definitely help out with the garrison. Actually, it will give it a garrison over here. Um, none of the other buildings here are anything that would give towards a garrison, so... This army may be able to move out. Um, Mercia here. Let's see, do they have a garrison? No, not really, but in three turns that will change over into a building that has a garrison as well. So this army is definitely going to be staying here. This army may be able to move down in the next turn after this um, building is changed over, so there will be an actual garrison here. Let's get down over here, see what we have. So we do have a lot of build-up here by the uh, Kingdom of Castile, but I took a look at their city real quick, and the only building that they have is right there, and they can only build, or they can only recruit the slingers. So they just have slingers here. There's an army full of there's a seven units of slingers, the side of the general. This, I'm going to guess, is a majority is Slingers, and this army is all Slingers except for the General. So that's, if they do end up attacking us, that's going to be a little difficult to defend against unless we have some cavalry somewhere, but these two settlements, this settlement here has nothing in it. So maybe I can get this General up into this city, so at least there'll be a General here. Maybe he'll be able to recruit some units that would be extremely helpful no they can't recruit anything here for some reason I still don't understand maybe it has to do with the uh, update that they did where where that the three kingdoms team did um, where there are uh, the um, growth and population and everything are different so maybe that has something to do with it I'm not entirely sure 
but we will continue on here like I said this campaign is probably not going to last um, a ton more longer I'm gonna say maybe we're at this is gonna be episode 13 I believe so we'll probably have maybe another two episodes or so and then I will call it quits on this campaign and move on to something else uh, this this Granada also does not have a garrison here either that will take five turns for it to be able to uh, have some sort of a defense here so let's just see if there's anything really important to build anywhere you're totally fine here so I wonder if maybe I can oh that's minus five the public order what is the public order here it's a hundred it's fine wondering I'm trying to find that would be okay to build maybe that'll give me some more units to uh, be able to unlock and have for recruitment I'm not sure and we'll build that as well so let's end this turn see what ends up happening like I said Portugal did sign that peace treaty or non-aggression pact so we'll have to see what England and Castile and whoever else decides to do against them do see a fleet here for England moving down I did notice that the King of England actually had made it back onto mainland over here by my territory so we'll see what he ends up doing he had been beaten back um, by I'm not sure who it was he did come back up from where the caliphate was so I don't know if maybe he got beaten back by them but he was definitely damaged his army he only had maybe like 10 units left in it and they were all severely depleted units so we will have to see what the kingdom of england has uh, what the king of england i should say has with him now and what will go further okay so the county toulouse is now finally gone they were gone a while ago as far as their uh, provinces but i had looked a couple of times and they had a dot for their uh they were way down over here that's where the symbol for the king for uh, toulouse was so i was kind of confused on why they were still around as much as they were but okay let's get back into the events here okay so he has the builder trait now advanced castle architecture better siege for weapons nice and there is a food uh, we, we fixed the food shortage and kingdom of Toulouse is done so we do now we can start another um, layer of our technology which there I think there was a building that I wanted to continue it's not that one I think it was the sanitation buildings I just have to find one this no that's not it oh no it is it scholar those are those two okay I could have sworn there was a building that I was trying to build but I wasn't able to because maybe it was this one I think it was that one okay so 11 turns for that uh, let's see what this looks like now it should yes it does have a garrison and it is fully recruited very nice garrison there three catapults so this army will be able to move out so I will be able to pull this army out of here and I will get them to make their way over into here let's get the one that is on the fleet I'll have him continue moving down so I don't forget about him. Um, their integrity is lowering characters and politics, but I don't really don't really know. Okay, so that let's see what they have here. It's an okay garrison. Uh, Lisbon, pretty okay garrison, and Evora. That has a it's pretty nice I mean they have a lot of ranged in this one so that should actually be pretty easy to defeat let's actually check uh, yeah even numbers spears and 
range there and this has a decent amount of range six uh, five units of range five units of spears but they're all light spear oh these are medium spears but should be easy to take on oh, what do we have here Ooh, this is a full army here and I don't have any eyes on it let's see can my assassin move down here a little bit further maybe he'll be able to get some of their units okay what if we move him across and get him right next to there nope still not showing very much we have another army here for Portugal okay so let's see can you recruit anything yet no still can't recruit anything it's very very confusing um, let's see how they're now they're deteriorating even more how about them towards them still improving I don't know why they're improving that doesn't make any sense on why they would improve with a faction that just signed a peace treaty with two the two guys that they're at war with that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me uh, England is still deteriorating for some reason don't know why Castile, Aragon oh just because I had I was at war with Aragon I guess let's see who are they military allies with oh they are well they're military allies with the Holy Roman Empire which they let's see how is that uh, alliance doing still okay still okay nobody new to trade with um, wars are with just these two so far but Portugal will more than likely be the next on the list as they are still deteriorating down um, Marcel try and switch that over to our version of the building I guess might not be a bad idea to just do it and this building can we switch this over no we can't we can't switch that over so hopefully that's still the the bonuses for this will still count towards the sanitation which I'm guessing it is because the sanitation is at seven so should be working for us there charge bonus training 5% melee attack oh this is all cavalry javelin li jousting lists what do we have here now oh this is the siege engineers no 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 actually you're the general that can't do anything, that can't recruit anything. Let's have you... Where was that? Where was the siege? Was it up here? Yeah, it's all the way up there. So, okay, yeah, let's have you... I mean, if you can't recruit anything else, you'll at least be able to move up here. Should be able to recruit a couple of siege, uh, siege equipment. That would be kind of interesting to have a general just rolling around with some... Uh, Oh, here we go. You can recruit here. That's good. Are you ready to serve? Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Get some uh, infantry, some archers, a, a couple of units of crossbows, and some spears, just because. That should be all right. At least he'll have some men. At least I'll have some units with him there. This town is still building up. Um, all right, so let's just uh, we're still doing just just doing some preparing here, getting ready to declare war on Portugal. Just let their actions continue to speak for them, and let their um, allegiances hopefully continue to drop with at least the Kingdom of Castile. I mean, if Castile ends up, one, uh, you know, siding with them and ending up going into all, into a war against us, then so be it. But 
we'll still have to see what we are able to do. What's, well, actually, we'll see what ends up happening with this, uh, with the next couple of turns here as far as allegiances and such. Okay, start building that. And we have a food shortage. Is it here? Yeah. Well, that'll turn around soon. Another turn, that'll turn around. Two turns, that'll turn around. So, and Elmerick got a rank. So let's find Elmerick. Oh, you need to secure loyalty from him now. And Elmerick, you got a rank. You are a governor, which is good. Drop the maintenance cost and lessen the cost of constructed buildings. That'll be nice. Just going to continue checking the see how they're doing. Starting to deteriorate with them. They're still improving. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how they are still improving with them. Because they're at war with these two guys. I don't... I don't fully understand that. Um, I wonder what would happen, though, if I broke my... I don't have anything with Castile. Oh, we just have a non-aggression pact with Castile right now, and it is deteriorating. For my people's part, Let's see. Welcome. For my part, welcome also. No. And give me. No. Robert State now. Uh, military access. No. Oh, we may end up having to go to war with Portugal and Castile. That would be rather interesting. Let's continue having this fleet move down. You can't move because you are recruiting. Uh, this army can move a little bit closer up over here. Just in case we do end up going to war with Castile as well. Let's see how far along we are in Mercia. So one more turn and we will have a garrison there. So this army should be able to move out as well. Uh, let's see though. The, oh wow, there's 34, two armies here with 34 combined units in them. That could be interesting. Uh, and the general, I mean, the king's army is just absolutely fanta fantastic. I mean, look at all those gold and silver chevrons across this board here. That's absolutely amazing. Portugal does have a 20 stack here. And Seville has a pretty decent garrison with a general in it as well. Let's see, can we have you move back over here? No, just right there is fine. Let's see if we can see. Ah, pretty solid army here. A couple of ranged ca uh, skirmisher cavalry, I should say. Three units of regular cavalry. Only one of them is shock, though. The other two are melee, so they're garbage. Light slingers, a couple units of wow, lots of ranged actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units of ranged. Ready what do you have? Battle. Three units of cavalry. You have two more units of cavalry. So that would work out, but you still can't move. You still need to wait three more turns because there's no garrison here. And I'd rather not lose this settlement again. Had I I had already made that mistake once uh coming out with him and they were able to this settlement just got taken over immediately. So, um, let's have you. Oh, wait, let's check and see. Can we see this garrison? We can. Not arranged again. Couple of spears. <coughs> Santiago. Spears, couple arranged. Can't see Leon, though. Which is okay. Um,. I guess we we'll, we'll just do some building. What is the? It's currently four. That would allow 
me to build another army. What's the point of having that? <clears throat> yeah, let's switch this over to this because the cavalry will. I don't know if that's going to apply to all the cavalry or if it was just going to apply to any new cavalry that's made. Um, where are you? You're up there. Your public order is now starting to drop actually a little bit. So dropping that in there would make it worse. It would only knock it up one, but it would still make it worse. And I'd rather not have that happen. That would raise the public, that would make the public order here drop as well. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Alright, so let's end the turn. Like I said, I'm going to try and just wrap this one up. So I would be able to get into some other sort of a game, some other sort of a campaign. I don't know if maybe it's going to be another one in 12.12 here with the um, new updates and everything that they did. Or maybe start something in Rome 2 or something. I'll have to see what we end up doing. Actually, I mean, if you guys have any ideas or have any thoughts or, you know, what you would want to see me do if, as far as a campaign or anything, because pretty much the Three Kingdoms campaign is pretty much done. Uh, I mean, you guys really didn't seem like you were that enthusiastic about seeing me continue that campaign. So, I'm um, pretty sure that one got up to only maybe turn 8 or 9. Good. So, he re-secured the loyalty. That's good stuff. Food shortage has been resolved there, and we had a good spring. Good stuff. So, but yeah, like I said, the, the Three Kingdoms campaign is pretty much all done. Um, is really, you guys, oh, now they're starting to deteriorate. That's good. Uh, yeah, you guys, like I said, you guys didn't really seem, which is fine. I mean, I'm not upset or mad or whatever. I just want to make sure that I'm putting out content that you guys enjoy to see. Aside of just the replays that I do, the Rome 2 replays and 12.12, and, um, so. Okay, let us continue on. So, will you be able to move Valencia? Where is Valencia again? Valencia's up there. So, Mercia, you can move now because there is an actual garrison here. Whoa, nice garrison, too. And it gives me the three catapults. Okay, so this army... Wait, where did those... I, no, 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 no. I want to leave this army here. You will be able to make it up there if need be. So that will be good because I see that the Caliphate are now starting to make an advancement out. I wonder if maybe it would just be easier for me to pull this army back. Probably would be easier for me to just move this army back over to here. And it is a pretty good army four units of uh, shock cavalry so that's pretty nice yeah let's get you guys to move back over here we can finish moving you next turn you still have three more turns to go this army can continue moving its way down actually let's not get in the way of any of the trade routes though don't want to block that up what is this here this is the kingdom of Castile what is he doing, I wonder? Yeah, there's this two armies down here. Assassin. Would that declare... Would that make me declare war? I don't think it would. Let's see. 95% chance of killing this general. Go right ahead. Let's see if maybe you can pull it off. That would be cool. Successful. Narrowly avoided death. That sucks. But there's no general here now for at least a turn, so that will be... <laughs> that's something. Um, yeah, get you... Oh, that's next turn. Alright, end the turn. Got a lot of money. I mean, there's, as far as I'm concerned, that's a lot of money. 14,000 coming in every turn. Caliphate wants a peace treaty with me. Wait a second, why are you at war with them again? I thought you made peace... Well, no, I'm not doing that anyway, so... No. Definitely not making peace with you. 
because everybody's at war with you and now you're pulling your two armies back. I guess maybe because he saw me move that army back over? We'll have to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why the AI does what it does. Sometimes, at least. <laughs> Kingdom of Portugal has now declared war on the Alamed Caliphate. Okay, so they're changing it. They're changing up what I wanted to do now. Dang it. How can I serve you? Salutation. Just kill another general. Knife and whips, perhaps. Nice. That time he got killed. Good stuff. What do we have here? Just a 10 here now. I wonder, you know what? Just because... Let's see what would happen if we were to declare war on them. I mean, Castile and Trier are the only two that still... Well, me, myself, so Castile is the only one that's still has anything to do with them and they don't really like them that much starting to improve here with me or I could you know just do what I initially was gonna do and just attack Castile and though Castile is allied with England that is starting to deteriorate how am I with England deteriorating but it's by it's higher I wonder if I should just do that I'm probably, uh, yeah, you know what, we'll just do that. We'll just attack uh, Castile and Portugal. I listen Let's see and what speak would happen here. In our dealings today. Both of those are deteriorating. So Portugal might end up coming in on Castile's side. We'll see. Neither of them. Oh, but I left all of mine on there, which means I'm going to have to move real quick now. Really, really fast. Uh, let's get that guy into that settlement. Good. We'll move you down. Can you land? Where can you land? Be able to land there next turn. Okay. All right. So, is this one done yet? Not yet one more turn but you can start moving out now so let's get you to move up actually let's get oh, you nice let's see what Cordoba has it's got a full oh this is the 20 stack of the <laughs> of the ranged and garrison is this yeah let's uh let's charge in here with this unit with this army I should say it says that we're really outmatched but that's just because they have more units than we do. They just have they have more men than we do, but it's all just slingers. I mean So let's just build up a couple of towers. Then well, how much longer? One more turn before you will be able to move. And you do have a piece of a siege equipment, you'll be able to come in onto the other side here. Um this army needs another two turns and he will be done. This army is going to be landing down over here by Santiago. So now this priest can move over and see what they have here in Leon, which is nothing. Pretty garbage garrison again. Okay, so let's end the turn. Maybe Portugal will uh, declare war on me. Maybe not. I don't know. They want a peace treaty. No, I just declared war on you. I'd actually like... Ooh! Oh, wow, that's not good. Wow, that is a lot of men. 6,600 against 2,000. 
Yeah, let's just pull you back. And fall back. Let's pull you back. Journey completed. They come over again. Well, this time we're going to have to fight it. They didn't run away far enough. So, alright, we'll see you out there. Get onto the battlefield and uh, we'll try and do as much damage as we can with our cavalry and our infantry and everything. It is a pretty solid army, though, so... Should be able to do some sort of damage. Whew, that is a lot of guys, though. That's a lot of armies. I'm going to have to move fast. Get my cavalry just charged right out up to them. It's only two units of cavalry, though. So I don't know how well that's going to go. Uh, we do have a decent amount of range, though, so we can spread them out like so, and we'll do that. We'll also put you into a group, get rid of that lock. Spears, you guys can make a nice line also. And then our three units of swords can back up the spears. Our general can come over here. Um... Alright, well, let's we'll just go. We'll just get the cavalry to start moving out immediately. Get this army to start moving up over here. The enemy has reinforcements. The general can slow down. I don't need him running. Alright, let's just start charging right into the uh, ranged here. Start trying to break some of these slingers. They are all very light slingers, though, so the cavalry should be able to just run them right over. Hopefully they can get into them, though. Yeah, they're going to start pulling back immediately. What are you firing at? I wonder. A lot of spears now. Oh, you're shooting into my cavalry here. Interesting. Heavily yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Cavalry, just start start tearing these guys down. You really need to start hitting them hard. Actually, get rid of the catapult. Get the catapult out of here. Okay, so yeah, that unit of slingers is going to be destroyed. They are gone. Let's continue moving on here. Get you to charge into them. This cav cavalry unit can charge into their backs now. Just keep moving, guys. You can, uh, have to keep moving. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Have to their keep moving. Let's get the archers to move up a little bit further. That unit came back. There's only 43 of them, though. Alright, charge over that way. So, so far, the cavalry is doing okay. They're not, uh, they're not dying yet. They're, they will start dying though, I have a very strong feeling. Here comes some... Oh, uh, who is this? Is this a general? Yeah, this is one of the generals. There's another one of the generals. Let's just swing you around. And we can move this line up also. Move you guys up right behind the spears. Alright, turn to charge. You guys can come back this way. Start having you guys start shooting at that general. Let's pull you back. Actually, my general can come over this way. Alright, you guys, come on. Keep coming this way. Gotta keep uh, getting rid of this, getting rid of this, these archers and everything here. You guys keep firing here. You guys are firing here as well. The cavalry is starting to lose. Pull the cavalry out. Have them go over this way. Yeah, this is more than likely we're gonna lose this, but I'm gonna hope to try and get as much damage into this army as possible. Or these armies, I should say, as much as I can. My general has pulled away. These 
lost some men, and yeah, this unit of cavalry is just gonna. I'm just gonna keep trying to push them through, get them into as many of their ranged as possible. What is this cavalry doing? You're losing as well. Let's pull the cavalry and the archers. Okay, so my cavalry is now gone. No, 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 pull back. Pull back. Um, spears, you guys can actually move up in front of the archers. So we did end up routing one of the generals, which is good. It's always nice to get rid of some generals. Let's have him charge in here is also. Get you guys into can't. You can, you can, and we'll start pulling up our swords. And you guys into your spear wall also. Pull some swords up over here. Alright, archers, just start firing as much as you can. Now, this is a lot of range, but like I said, we're going to try and take out as much of it as we can. Get our general start charging in here. He's losing men. Uh, swords, you guys can start chasing these units. You can start firing over there. Pull back. You're gonna get into combat here. Jesus! This. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this. Show all these ranged here for the uh, for the uh, enemy team here, or the uh, enemy armies, I should say. That is ridiculous. Well, let's get you guys to start moving in here as well. Swords, yeah, you're chasing down these units, taking some heavy shots as you're trying to get towards them. Get you guys to change this direction. Uh, general, pull out, hit these slingers. I mean, there's really nothing I can do with the amount of range. I mean, that is just a ridiculous amount of range. Let's charge into the backs of him. I mean, we're breaking their front line here, which is nice. That's definitely a nice thing. Uh, actually, let's just uh, just because I know this is going to be a loss, I'll just start turning my archers and have them start firing into their uh, infantry lines as well. Hopefully, we can catch this catch this king out. Also, that would be nice, or this general, I should say. Though he's going to start wrecking this unit. They're only medium infantry. Yeah, that's a full. My general is now breaking. All of their infantry here, though, on the front are breaking. Or at least one or two of them are starting to break, which is nice. Start getting some shots in over here. You keep chasing this direction. How are you guys doing? Not very good. Wow, you're losing. Oh, we'll start shooting into their guys there. Should be able to get... Start shooting into this guy. These spears need to push in. You can start attacking the general also. Spears came back. Have them go this way. Yeah, this is going to be a loss. I already, I already mean, with the balance of power, they still outnumber me, my 2,600 guys. But, like I said, all I'm trying to do... We did kill their general again, though. That's nice. Let's keep trying to get rid of their... Actually, try to charge, charge them out. Get them out there. Uh, you guys can start firing in there. You guys already were firing in there. These units broke. These swordsmen are really trying to catch up to these guys. Let's have you guys start shooting that way. Yeah, you guys can just keep shooting into these blobbed up units. 
This is a lot. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> My general broke a while ago. I have so many ranged guys. I wonder if there's anything that can be done about that. Like, is there uh, like a code or some something that can be done that would stop this? Because this is this is not the first time that I've seen it. I've seen a couple of other people have to deal with these kinds of enemy armies as well, and it's I don't know. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm weird. Yeah, six hundred men left. They have thirty-three hundred. You guys keep firing in that direction. You guys keep firing in that direction. This unit of swords is just gonna die. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, let's just fast forward through this. Unit is running from the enemy. We'll just fast forward it and get it, get this battle over with, because I don't think that this is going to go any better than it is currently. What are you shooting at? You can start shooting in this direction. Yeah. Spears are losing. Okay. So that's the end of that. But we did kill... Or at least we routed a bunch of their units. We we did we did get rid of a lot of them. They lost they lost about 1,900 guys. So they lost about the same amount as we did. So no no no, keep going, keep charging in. Just the last couple of units. Okay, and now it's over. Okay, good. Well, that was our first defeat, but I, I don't really uh I don't know. I don't know what to say to that that I just fought. I just uh, they only lost thirteen hundred, so we do still have some men left over. That's weird. That's very strange. <laughs> now this general did not end up dying, or does he end up dying? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Very strange. Very strange army build up there. <clears throat> But it's okay, because now my king should be able to come out over here. What is that? Is that France again? Saw a French flag there. Huh. Very interesting. Another French pretender faction, I guess. Dislike begging. They want me to pay them for a defensive alliance. Uh, no, I'm not paying you anything. Definitely not with you having just a little sliver of red on your line of, of balance of power. Yeah, you did. Oh, I ki I did kill them. Whoa. I killed all three of those generals. That's crazy. We hunger for battle. You're going to get reinforced. <laughs> That's crazy. That is so insane. I that is so insane. Alright, let's have you move back up. You're an assassin. Get you move back up here. You're an assassin also. Get you over there. Okay, this army should... Land here, and then uh, unfortunately I moved them too fast, so I will be able to get them out of that next turn, and they will be able to siege here at Santiago, which should be an easy auto-resolve, and then they will be able to come over to Lyon as well. This army has one more turn left, and then I'm just going to bring them back down. I'll just bring them back down, unless I can get a couple more units. That's three turns. 
Um, what can we get for one turn? Three, more, two more units of swords. Okay, we'll do that. I could get a unit of. Sh no, that takes three turns. That takes three turns. All right, so that army will be able to come back down. <laughs> army right there. Unbelievable. Um. So move you over to Valencia. King's army would be just attacked. If he came over here, he would have the same fate. Though we do have a couple more units of cavalry in this army. But now, with that army dead, we could reinstate a legacy, which would be these guys. The Defenders of Faith that just died. Let's reinstate them. Get you in there. Now we can get some more units. Okay, good. Ooh. Oh, a longer list. Wow, a lot longer of a list. That's nice. Alright, so let's get some... Get a... Four... Five units of crossbows. I can only get one. Okay, that's that. And then cavalry, we can get two units there. And... I mean, I guess... I mean, it's cavalry, so we'll get cavalry. It's fine. It's 13 turns for that unit. For that, uh army to be finished. At your command. What would happen if you came out? Oh yeah, it would be dropped. Um, need some sort of... That will help. That'll bring up public order. That'll definitely help out. So you are down over here. You're going to start pushing down. You will be done in a turn, so you'll be able to come down as well. All right, let's go. Let's get this continuing on. I think the episode is almost over for today, though. So, let's see. What, oh, Castile's pulling back now. We find our now, Scotland wants a military alliance, and they and want me to pay them also. To I don't... I don't understand... No, okay, well. Not gonna happen, dude. That is not gonna happen. Ooh, Genoa is now starting a big, big, big push out there. They sent two fleets down. Rain is moving some armies around. Well, that was an, an assassin, I think. I don't think that symbol is army. <coughs> Very nice. He got a shield bearer as well. That's good. And Gilspert got a rank. So let's find him. There is Gil. You. Oh, you need. Alright. So secure this guy's loyalty. Gilsbert, you got a rank. You are a new general, so you will need some. Um, yeah, you'll need some cunning. Oh no, you won't need cunning. 
can I re yeah reset that authority and I guess we'll do that and you can equip some stuff here son has died. Uh, let's push up, see where these armies move to. Can I not see them? What does Toledo have? Uh, let's get you to move right here to the border. Still can't see anything over there. Alright, you guys can get out of Force March, and this should be pretty easy to take. None should be able to get that next turn. That will be the end of that. So we are going to start pushing in onto their settlements. This army is still building. This army is complete, though. So you can... Why can't you move? Oh, you're in... I had fortified you. Alright, let's have you come down over here. I don't know if we have any recruitment slots available here. Oh yeah, no, we still do. Uh, we could get you a couple of units of cavalry at least. Twelve? Oh, is that because uh, these guys have to build first, I guess? That's weird. We'll see what that looks like next turn. Wow, we do. There are a lot of cavalry here. There is a lot of cavalry. Alright, so let's see. We'll see what ends up happening with that. See if those numbers drop. Because they, they said they were only two. It would have been only two turns for that. Oh! Are we going to have a battle? Hopefully not ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You've got to be kidding me with this. Disengage! That is very silly. It's very, very silly. S slightly frustrating, actually, I'll say. That is, that is, is I mean, what a, unless you form a full cavalry army, you're not going to be able to do anything against those forces. You can't do anything against them. There's so many ranged units. Surely, my noble no. friend, you... Okay, yeah, balance power, the power's still dropping. So it's really going to take 11 turns. Alright, well I guess drop the cavalry then. And these two forces can maybe push in on Toledo. That would be nice. Oh, Duchy of Lorraine is attacking here, of course, because their spam armies are gone. That sucks. Because they're, they're definitely going to take this. They're absolutely going to take that. That really sucks. Alright, well. Let's start pushing in here. Put that there. 
and we'll move you down over here as well just in case one of their ridiculous armies comes over here again and you're no longer useful here so let's get you out of there would that I So ridiculous. That's your command. There's nothing I can do against them. There's nothing I can do. Aside of just continual continually to lose cavalry. It's really all I can do is just keep throwing cavalry away. That's all I can do over there. It's very sad. Slightly upsetting. see what happens maybe we'll actually be able to get that uh, get that settlement before something else comes over here oh my god Regroup and fall back. keep going dude Gathering supplies. nope you're not gonna get away so here comes another army loss two units of cavalry. I mean, all they have is ranged. It's so annoying. Alright, well, I'm just going to call the episode here, guys. Um, we'll come back in. We'll come back in and, and take this on, I guess, next episode. So, alright, guys. Have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon.